Hey guys, my name's Jeremy Skinner. I'm a black belt under Lachlan Giles and Craig Jones. And today we're gonna to be looking at some leg locks. Now specifically looking at some attacks from half butterfly, which I think is a, a fundamental position uh, in basically like, like guard play into leg locks that uh, I think everyone should be getting good at. Um, so what we're gonna look at is a series here where we start chaining three different leg lock entries together, um, culminating into a, quite a cool and flashy uh, entry into saddle right at the end but there's some predecessor techniques that we need to make sure that we've got down first, that way we can actually hit these flashy entries that we talk about. Now, um, starting in a half butterfly, the way that this position works is that we start off with basically, it's a variation of half guard. So half guard classically, we're, we're controlling one of our partner's legs with two of our own, um, with one leg on the inside, one leg on the outside. But with a lot of leg lock entries, we wanna make sure we've got complete inside position. So that's where we start playing off a half butterfly. So if I start with a half guard here, I take my outside leg, it pummels to the inside here, uh, and I've got my shin framing across my partner's hip here. So the idea is I've got uh, distance management with my two legs. So my, uh, my leg that came from the outside to the inside here, framing across my partner's hip. Um, so that way I'm making it easier for me to control my partner pressuring in towards me there. And then I've got my, uh, my bottom leg here curling in behind my partner's knee. So that way if my partner tries to pull their leg away, I've got control over that knee there. Now. From this position, one of the problems our partner can introduce to us is going for a cross face. So if I'm just staying here uh, with my hands down, my partner goes for a cross face, she can start flattening me out and it's gonna be very hard for me to recover from here. She's in a strong passing position. So if we go back, so one of the most important grips I can make from this position is a cross frame. So I wanna make sure I'm reaching across here, hand in my partner's armpit here, keeping my elbow turned up towards my partner's uh, chin here. And so now from this position, if my partner does go through a cross face, it actually makes it very easy for me to carry her weight through and then start looking to attack this far leg. So now we've got our first leg lock entry from a half butterfly. We can also force this style of entry from a half butterfly by simply uh, using a reverse hip escape here. So I make sure I'm putting in place my cross frame. So that way now, uh, you know, it's gonna be difficult for my partner to cross face me, but they might not choose to cross face me now because they know that if they look for that, um, they're going to be putting a leg lock. So now we need to force the entry. So I start reaching forward here towards my partner's heel now, and I'm going to extend my inside leg. So I'm going to use a reverse hip escape to move my hips across the mat and underneath my partner. So from here, scooting across, and I can use this multiple times if I need to, eventually turning from my inside hip onto my outside hip. Then from here, I want to make sure I'm bringing my knee back towards my shoulders before pummeling it to the inside here and turning into an inside ashy. This now allows me to start exposing my partner's heel and attacking a heel hook. So we've, we've looked at our first leg lock attack from this position here where we're looking to target my partner's far leg, where I shift my inside hip to my outside hip. But one of the things our partner can do from this position to make this difficult for us is by keeping their weight in that leg there. Exactly, so they know that I wanna target this leg, so they're gonna keep their weight on that side, so it makes it difficult for us. I'm still gonna initially try and shift my hips underneath my partner as much as possible, but they stay heavy on that side there. So what I'm gonna to look to do is instead of trying to shift from my inside hip to my outside hip, I'm gonna drive across in that direction using the path of least resistance to attack this leg. So I wanna keep control of my partner's heel in this situation. I wanna keep my cross frame in place. And all I'm gonna do is shift my shin across from my partner's right hip to her left hip. So now from here, I can tuck my knee to my shoulder as much as I can to get a wedge behind the knee. And I start driving across in this direction here. And I have a standard ashy on the far leg. So now instead of uh, you know, gaining like a strong heel exposure like we prefer, this time we at least get our partner's hip down to the floor. So then it's an easy thing for us to start shifting across and then going into expose the heel. Once more on that, starting in a half butterfly here like so, I've got my cross frame in place. I'm trying to pull myself underneath my partner here, but they're keeping their weight on that side there. So I'm shifting my knee across to the opposite hip here, pulling my knee in towards my shoulders as much as possible. So I've got a wedge behind the knee and I'm starting to drive across now onto that side. From here, I'm in a standard ashy now. I've got control over my partner's legs. I make sure I've got parallel shins. And then from here, it's an easy thing to step on my partner's hip, shift across and go back into an inside ashy to expose the heel. Now looking at our third leg lock entry from this position here, um, we're gonna be looking at what I guess would be described as probably a more sexy leg lock entry. Um, the ones that are a bit more uh, you know, camera friendly for competition, they're a little bit more flashy, but still equally as effective. 
And this leg lock entry really only works because we have the initial threat of those first two leg lock entries, where we're starting to look now to enter into saddle on my partner's uh, second leg there. Normally we've been looking at uh, targeting my partner's uh, first leg here, the one that's closest to me, but now we're gonna be looking at switching across to my partner's opposite leg. So from this position here, we start out the exact same way where I have the cross frame, my partner's armpit, elbow pointed up, and coming forward and controlling my partner's heel. And again, we're starting off the exact same way where I'm looking to try and shift across underneath my partner's hips as much as possible here so I can start attacking this far leg. And again, my partner's shifting her weight onto that leg there and we take our knee across, still keeping my knee pulled in towards my shoulders. Now, the way that this leg lock entry works is the threat of putting my partner's hips on the floor is gonna uh, get a specific reaction from my opponent. So I start driving my partner across onto the floor here and they're focusing on keeping their hips up off the floor as much as possible. So they are in essentially a hip high situation. So from here, we extract our bottom leg and I can enter into saddle by chocking my knee up behind my partner's knee here and then locking a triangle. From there, we enter into the saddle position. Starting in our half butterfly again, I make sure I've got my, uh, my hook underneath my partner's hip here, shin framing across the hips. That way I've got some distance management, still curling behind that far leg there. Make sure I'm setting in place my cross frame in the armpit here, elbow pointed towards my partner's chin, coming forward towards my partner's heel here. I'm looking to uh, initiate a, a reverse hip escape here, starting to shift my hips underneath my partner's hips and trying to attack this, my partner's first leg here. Now, from this position, my partner's keeping heavy in that leg there. I'm keeping my knee chocked up behind my partner's knee here, threatening to drive her forward and onto the floor here. My partner's doing a good job of keeping her hips up and off the floor. I come down onto her shoulder, extract my bottom leg here, and place my knee behind my partner's knee, pulling it in towards my hips. From here, I've got control of my partner's leg. I make sure to lock a triangle, and now it's an easier thing to start driving my partner down onto the floor. I wanna make sure as I enter into saddle, I'm keeping control of what is now the second leg. So that way I can bind my partner's two legs together here and I have great control. So those are my uh, three preferred leg lock entries from a half butterfly. Uh, half butterfly is a position that you can attack the whole body from, but I think it's uh, particularly good at attacking leg locks. So if you have any success with those techniques uh, in rolling at the gym, please let me know. If you have any questions about uh, this video or any other videos I've done or even uh, some requests for future videos, please comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Um, like and subscribe, and uh, if you wanna uh, learn a little bit more about leg lock defense, consider checking out my instructional from Technically uh, Fundamental uh, Heel Hook Escapes. That'll be in the link down below.